Here's beauty there's no imitating. Beauty that's lasted a thousand years. For that's how long Chesil Beach at Abbotsbury and Dorset has been a haven and nursery for swans. Here, year after year, Cobb and Penn, that's Mr and Mrs Swan, have returned to nest and breed. Today the population is over 500. Let's take a closer look at family life. This is father on patrol duty, a model of devotion and lifelong fidelity. Only death can part this devoted couple. Mother starts laying in her second year. If she takes things easy, may live to be a hundred. The same with father, who likes a bit of company while he's on guard during the incubation period. This one's another expectant father. Sometimes, when a young cygnet strays from home, it chooses the nearest broody swan for a foster mother. In the case of newlyweds, this is apt to confuse the father who really doesn't know what to think. Centuries back, the swan area was tended by monks from the nearby abbey. Today, 72-year-old swan herd Joseph Gill settles any domestic problems among the 100 couples. And though the Gill family have watched over the swans for 200 years, he still holds a healthy respect for the mighty nine-foot spread of wings that could easily break his arm. When the signets are old enough, Joseph's nephew joins in the annual task of marking selected birds. Nobody enjoys this, but it has to be done for according the swan's migratory habits. Yes, it's a tidy family for a couple of men to care for. The war threatened to denude the swanera, but now it's almost back to its old strength. And a lovelier sight you couldn't wish to see. Proud mother and the family, lauding it as the royal family of the lake. 